Welcome to Top Apps, Zach here, and today I've got a very interesting development in the realm of application and education. It's called photo math, as in photo and math, as in mathematics. So basically, the idea behind it is that you take the app, and I've got my handy math book here, I'm gonna point the camera at a math problem, and it solves it. That sounds crazy, that sounds weird, that sounds sci-fi and somewhat cheaty on, uh, well, if you're doing some math homework. But let's go into the app and see what it's all about and if it really does work. So, I've been using Photomath for quite some time, and it seems to be working pretty well. I mean, I started it out with simple equations like 1 plus 1, 2 plus 2, and that handles it fine. And basically, all you have to do is take the phone, and you sort of hover it over the problem. You can adjust the framing, make sure the, uh, the formula or the problem is in the framing. You wait a while, and it goes tit tit, and it gives you not just the answer, but it gives you the steps required to solve that problem. And if you tap on those steps, it'll even explain what is required, like how is this solved, what is it actually doing to solve that math problem. So it's not really going to overturn everything, but this is the first time that it's actually linked to a camera. So just sort of having a problem in hand, taking a picture of it, or just you know, pointing the camera at it and getting that solution, that's faster than ever before. You don't even have to type it in. So, of course, in the educational realm, things are going to have to adapt. I mean, it's only, it's inevitable that computers are going to catch up with us on these things. So, uh, unless you're some sort of super genius, computers are catching up. So, watch out for you math geniuses out there. But, there are some problems with the app, okay? It's not exactly 100% complete. So, first of all, the main thing they're working on now, because they've only released it recently, in this year, the, f the main thing they're working on is handwriting recognition. I've tested it with my handwriting. I don't have the best handwriting in the world, but I tried it. Simple equations works. If I put one plus one, it works, no problem. You can detect that as long as I'm writing cleanly. But if I start writing some X's and Y's and some squares in there, or square roots, it doesn't really recognize my handwriting. And even on some text in the, in the printed book, it doesn't really recognize everything accurately, and sometimes it reads the wrong, the wrong number or the wrong uh, symbol. So it's not 100% perfected, but that is, they clearly say that that's what they're working on now, handwriting recognition, and that will also improve the printed recognition as well. But I have tested it on some pretty complex formulas here, and it actually reads it okay. Uh, secondly, it does have a problem, I mean, it's not going to solve every math problem. If you're going to have some geometric problems with shapes and stuff, it doesn't recognize the shapes. I mean, maybe that's a couple years off, we're, we're working, working towards that in terms of computing, but uh, it's not going to solve every one of your problems. But if you are interested in just checking it out in terms of just being interested in technology, or actually you need some help with your math homework, then maybe you want to check out PhotoMath. So before I go, let me thank our wonderful hosts here, Roast and Grind in PJ. They've got some wonderful coffee and wonderful cakes just over there. Imagine what you could do with your drone if it had the ability to know the environment around it. Instead of flying blindly, your drone could sense obstacles and respond when necessary. With this capability, imagine the places your drone could go, the things it could do. We are Panoptic Systems. We are Panoptic Systems. We are Panoptic Systems. Panoptic derives from the Greek word for all seeing, and that's what we're all about. Giving small drones a comprehensive perception of their environment so they can do even more amazing things. Things that help us capture our moments. Things that help us explore our world. Things that help us accomplish our work. The sky's the limit. That's a grand vision, and we're accomplishing it one step at a time. The first step, our first product, is the e-bumper. E-bumper installed on a drone helps you avoid colliding with large obstacles during flight. Here's how it works. Four sonar sensors provide your drone with information about the environment that is to the left, right, and front, and above it. When e-bumper senses an obstacle in its field of view, it prevents the drone from getting too close to that obstacle. It bumps off the object, keeping the drone at a safe distance. You can then navigate your drone safely away from any obstruction. E-Bumper can let you do things with your drone you previously might not have dared to do. You can move in closer to objects to get a better view, confident that you will be less likely to fly into them. You can fly your drone farther away from you, where it's more difficult to judge distance, knowing that the E-Bumper will be there to help you. Really, situations where close proximity to objects might have held you back, the 
eBumper helps you fly with confidence. While developing eBumper, we added some cool features, including auto takeoff and precision mode. With a flip of a switch, auto takeoff launches your drone and then holds it about six feet off the ground. This works both indoors and out, meaning no more fears of takeoff or crashing into your ceiling. Precision mode is another great feature that we've added into the eBumper. Essentially, precision mode softens up the control inputs on your remote. You can now more precisely position and control your drone in a cluttered environment. The eBumper is available as a retrofit kit for the Phantom line of drones from DJI, as well as the Iris Plus from 3D Robotics. eBumper currently works in slower flight regimes. Picture speeds up to a fast walk. More advanced versions of Panoptis products for faster flight regimes as well as additional aircraft are already on the drawing board. We are very excited about the eBumper. Our initial beta testers are excited about the product and we are ready to scale the full rate production. To do that, we need your support. We invite you to join Panoptis on this journey as we bring drones comprehensive, all-seeing perception of their flight environment. And imagine, along with us, all the amazing things you'll see when you explore the world with confidence. While everyone else was making the same big trailer, the Little Big Planet community decided to craft something uniquely small.